you know, I was asked a good question about dating when you are coming out of a relationship with a narcissist or a narcissistic person, however you want to look at it. But this is my recommendation. I was never the type of dude that was would hate on my ex, right? Never that. But um, I was the type of guy that always thought that I could go back and get her. I thought that I could go back and be with her. I thought that I always had to compare myself to the new guy that she got. I thought that I had always had to be better than the new guy that she got. So re when you move on and start dating, you may have somebody that's like covert or a vulnerable narcissist, which were the first type of people that they diagnosed years ago in the 80s. If that person is very vulnerable, they're going to try to cause problems with your new man or woman because the women that are narcissists or narcissistic don't want you to move on either. I never wanted any of my exes to move on. Didn't want it. Didn't want to see it. Couldn't handle it. I can talk about it now. But before I was like, ooh, like biting down so hard, breaking my dog on feelings. But anyway, they were always the vulnerable or the coverts or the ones that are gonna try to hurt your new relationship, your new man or new woman, not hurt him physically, but they're gonna try to hate on him. They're gonna hate on him. They're gonna watch you date. They're gonna watch what you do. They're gonna try to, what did they call dry snitching? They're gonna set little traps. They're going, they're going to try their best to get at your new person in an indirect way by hinting on things. The best thing for you to do is to realize that you don't owe them anything. If, you have, if you're parenting with one of them or the male or, man, man or woman, you parent and that's what you do. You parent, you have boundaries. And we, we, we always talk about putting up boundaries. Boundaries are the things that you have to do in the beginning of any relationship. But with your new relationship, you let that person know the male and female that, hey, this is my ex. This is what's going on. This is what happened. Because if you don't and they do what they you think they're going to do and you don't tell your new person, they're going to think you still have some type of connection with that person. They're going to think that you still like that person. That happens, too. So you set boundaries. You close doors. You don't engage. You don't show emotion. You don't do any of that. Those are boundaries. When you set the standards, you set the rules and the regulations about the relationship going forward, how we're going to co-parent, uh, child support, alimony, put the rules in place. Because when, the, when a narcissist loses out on a relationship, the marriage, child support, alimony, they're going to always be angry and bitter. I had to get over that. And what helped me out was therapy, realizing I was the wrong person in a relationship. So keep that in mind. Keep your business straight. Keep your life personal and private. You have a good day.